Paul is headed to the Golden State Warriors. Did not see this coming. The irony of it all. I have a feeling our next guest knew. He, he has the crystal ball. He's been doing NBA for a long time. He knew this. Kevin Ray joins us down the right to the guest on here on Fox Sports 910. You you knew this was coming, right? You and you and Chris had a conversation. He he, he knew this was coming. He was never going to, to D.C. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, my crystal ball has a lot of gook on it right now. Um, <laughs> you know, I've, I've been, I got the glass cleaner out. I'm trying to. <laughs> but, uh, I, I did not see this coming from Jeez. a mile away, much less a foot away. Yeah. Crazy. Well, welcome to silly season, boys. It really is. I mean, uh, you see it, it comes down, and I did a WTF. I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, I don't, I, I, it just was, like, so surprising. And then you're hearing, you know, when Chris Paul's doing these interviews, Good Morning America, and he was just so laid back about the whole thing. And do you think he knew there was another move here, another chess move for him? Well, yeah, I, I think he felt pretty certain that Washington, considering, you know, what they're doing, which is just completely hitting the reset button. Uh, their new general manager has been given, given authorization to, you know, to start over, uh, to strip it down to the studs. You know, Washington has tried to, you know, use duct tape and every other form of sticky uh, stuff to, to try to create a winner over the last six, seven years. And it just has not worked for a variety of reasons. And so they have finally come to the realization that, you know, you, you can't, you know, you can't have that. And which is what they had tried to do. And it still didn't pay any dividends. So uh, with that being said, looking at Chris's salary, looking at Chris's age, uh, I think he was pretty certain that Washington was not going to be his final destination. You know, we had heard earlier in the week that they were trying to facilitate a deal to get him to the Clippers. Um, and then, you know, 48 hours ago, it looked like that was going to get blown up because you had the Celtics potentially sending Brogdon there, but the entry to Brogdon undid that, you know, and, and that's, you know, this is almost like the stock market, guys. I mean, it, it is changing uh, by the minute. How about the irony of, of this, K-Ray? All of a sudden, the Suns and Golden State meet up in the playoffs, and CP3 is actually healthy in the playoffs. And all of a sudden, here he is doing his thing, going back and forth. Hopefully, we, we beat the Golden State. But can you imagine? I'm sitting here thinking and talking to Rock going, yeah, now will be the irony of it all. He's actually healthy in the playoffs. It helps us Golden State team. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, it, 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 would, it would be a tough pill to swallow – uh, I, I will say this, you know, it's still early. I mean, the draft hasn't even started. Sure. Free agency hasn't even started. So but before you start sending postcards to San Francisco uh, with Chris Paul's name on it, I would just say, pump the brake because we've learned nothing over the last even 12 hours. It's that, uh, you know, you, you might think somebody is getting ready to slip on a certain jersey, and it turns out to not be the case. So. Let's talk about Bradley Beal. That has now come through. Uh, at least it's now finalized. 